Okay, Walter. Here we go. I'm gonna give this thing a try, but I'm I don't have much. Uh, <laughs> I don't have a good feeling about it. It's one one flute, and uh, seems like it might have a lot of vibrations. Um, let's see. I'm I'm gonna just okay. A couple good things. Um, number one, it doesn't work in a three eighths collet, so. I had a 10 millimeter collet that slips right in there, so you need a 10 millimeter collet. The other thing is, is uh, the the shank does go up into the uh, the center of the mill, so you can shove it all the way up in there. That part's not a problem. Of course, you got to leave it stick out the amount that you know the, where the reduced shank is. So you got to leave it stick out that far. I think I've got it just about just about where it goes and um, we got a little piece of cast iron in there and I'm kind of leery because I'm afraid there's going to be a lot of vibration I, I uh, also it, the, the inserts have quite a large radius on them so it uh, but you know that that's that so anyway I'm I got the uh, my little uh, jogger in velocity mode and um, I think it's set so feed rate is six, but I can actually turn the MPG really slow, so I might be able to make it at four. Uh, so X velocity mode. Um, let's see. Let's see if it turns. Okay, it's taking off nothing there. That's zero, and it's, that's a that's a climb mill. And look at that. A lot of vibration. So. Uh, <laughs> I may, I may, uh, I just leave it like that. Okay. So, okay, so I'm gonna just, I'm gonna step, put it in step mode in the Z axis. And I'm at, uh, so I'm gonna go down 10 thousandths. That's a lot, I'll bet you. I've already got a feeling. Okay, there's ten thousandths. That's only ten thousandths. That's it. Back, back on the x-axis in the velocity mode, and this would be a conventional milling cut, not climb milling. Oh man. Okay, it's taking it off ten thousandths. We're we're in about we're in about an eighth of an inch or a little bit more. Uh, I don't know exactly what. And I'm running about four or five. Uh, per minute, very slow, and it is taking it off. Uh, I, I've already tried it, you can see where I've already tried to mill it, and uh, I, I, I have a feeling that 15 thousandths is unreasonable. Uh, okay, back to the z-axis, and let's move it down 15. That'd be, let's see, 85. Uh, oh, yeah. feel like I'm going a long ways here. All right, back to the x-axis. We're climb milling in velocity mode. Well, let's see what we can do here. Take a conventional cut at 10. If I can figure out where I'm at here, so we're 85, so we don't need to go to 95. Let's see. Okay, there's 10 thousands. Conventional, conventional cut, right? Seems to 
take ten thousand is okay. You know, I could, you know, I could, I could feed it faster. Let me take a, let me feed a little faster. But it, I don't think I've got it set at six. I have to fool around with the mock to get it set faster than that. Um, but anyway, that gives you an idea. Uh, let me just leave the camera running here for a few minutes. Let's clear this. Clear this. We move that this way, that way a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to be on camera here. It looks like so I can't help it. All right. Okay, so we're going to shut it off right there. And uh, take this thing out of here. I'm going to take it all the way off because. Uh, okay, let's see. I'm going to move the Z axis on. Alright, so that you can see, you know, that it was. I hope you can see. Let me see if I turn this thing around here. So you you can see that this thing is, you know, stuck way up in the way up in the collet. You know, that's this a this is a ten millimeter collet right here. So and you can see that I've got it shoved up in there as far as I can shove it. You know, I could probably shove it a little further, but we're right there. And it's sticking out about I don't know. Let me let me get a tape measure. <clears throat> Sticking out about an inch and a quarter, so um, I'm looking at the I'm looking at the uh, the insert. I mean, the insert looks fine, so I don't see any problems with all that. I mean, it 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 does work, but there, you know, with a single flute, there's a lot of vibration. So let's just leave it in the collet. That's a 10 millimeter collet, and I'll I'll tell you that this is a here's a 3 8 millimeter. I mean, a 3 8 call it here and it will not it will not uh, go into that call it there is no way it will go into that call it so you need a 10 millimeter call it uh, okay that takes care of that let's see uh, so okay so we have a 3 8 call it there let's let me let me look over in my stuff here see what I got Okay, actually, I'm not prepared to make this video, but luckily I have a 3 8 so here's, oh, that, no, that's a ball end, so that doesn't get it. We need a regular 3 8 four flute. I think this might be a regular one here. Okay, yeah, okay, so here's a regular... I, I don't know this thing probably doesn't focus I I don't know but anyway there's a regular end mill for flute there it is it, it comes into focus eventually so there's a four flute that's the three eighths too so we're, we're only talking the the 10 millimeter is only um, 15 thousandths uh, bigger than the three eighths so let's let's put this in shove it up to the to the where the flutes start, and it's just it, it this actually sticking out further, it's about inch and three eighths. Let's put this in here, so it should be about the same. Okay, so let's uh, move the z axis down a little bit. We actually should be smaller. The cut shouldn't be quite as, you know, a few thousandths difference. So uh, let's see where we're at here. Let's just, let's make sure I, I did tighten it, right? My memory's going on. Okay, we're good and tight. Let's turn it on. Let's just step it down to where we're at here. So I'll put it in step mode on the Z-axis. We're stepping at, you know, tenths of a thousand, so 
We're coming down pretty slow. Nothing's gonna, not gonna slam in it, into it or anything. Okay, there we were at. We touched off right there. So let's put, let's put on the x-axis back in velocity mode. Let's get out of there. Z-axis step mode. Let me zero it right there. Okay, Mach is zero. Let me take off. I'm going to get gutsy here. Let's take off uh, 20 thousandths with that regular. That's a four flute cutter, so it should be a lot less vibration. It cuts should cut four times faster. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know. Well, there's 20 thousandths right there. Okay, so let's move it to the X axis, velocity mode, and there's 20,000, and I'm running at, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm about 10, 10 right there. There's a lot of vibration. You know, the vice situation is not great. <laughs> you know, I, I, I just doing this quickly, so I just stuck that in the vice quickly. And uh, the vice is tight, but it, you know, it's hanging out on all, all sides. So, and, and it's about a three quarter inch piece of cast iron. All right, so let's go to, um, let's take it down. So we're 20 now, let's go to 50. So that's 30,000. There's 50,000, so that's 30,000 depth, depth of cut, uh, about an eighth of an inch in. Uh, it, you know, I don't know exactly what it is, but let me see if I can figure it out here. I get an idea anyway. I, I didn't really spend a bunch of time setting this thing up this morning. I just, oh, let's see where we're at. This has got a bunch of crap up there, isn't it? Okay, 132 thousandths roughly. So that's uh, all right. So and we're going to take a 30 thousandths cut, put it back in velocity mode. And I can run the slowest I can run is six. And that's conventional milling. This will give you an idea of the comparison between a four flute cutter and that single flute cutter. I'm not sure. I guess the advantage there is to change the insert. Okay, there's a 30 thousandths cut. So right now we're at 50. So let's go to 90. So that's a 40 thousandths cut. really pushing it here. I don't ever go this far, but I know you like to take big cuts. Well, here we go. So there's 90 thousandths. Back to the x-axis. Velocity mode. Climb milling. Now it's going to vibrate probably. Try to keep it down to like four or five. Gives you a pretty good idea of the difference. To me, I buy the I buy these end mills like three or four at a time, and they're car, solid carbide, four flute, um, just a three eighth, and uh, they're I don't know what the coating is. Not tin coating. It starts with a T. Thailand coating, coating, or something like that. Thailand coating. I don't know how to pronounce it. Anyway, so. So there you go. That gives you an idea of what you got to look forward to when you when this. Uh, the good thing about this uh, cutter is that 
uh, I paid, uh, I, I got 10 inserts and the cutter and I paid a dollar and thirty cents for tracking information and the whole the whole thing was only uh, the whole thing was only um, fifteen dollars complete free shipping so and from the day I ordered it till the day it showed up in my mailbox was seven days so shipping time was actually six days from China so they're pretty efficient the cutter itself looks beautiful I mean I don't see anything wrong with it you know they did a beaut it's a beautiful job it's just the idea that it's only a single flute cutter you know <laughs> I don't know about the inserts I mean they <laughs> I'm not so sure it's a even after using it that little bit these inserts may not be great I'm not sure it doesn't feel real sharp but I'd have to go compare it to another insert, but you know, I mean, the edge is going to be gone as soon as soon as you use it, no matter what kind of insert you're using. So, so what, how long does that take to come into focus? Doesn't seem to be coming into focus. I don't know. I'm looking at it. I got the viewer turned around my way. Anyway, so that gives you an idea. I'll post this video so you know what's going on. That's it. Signing off.